So I'm taking this. This is the Makeup Revolution. I think it's called Makeup Revolution. It just says Revolution. Yeah. So this is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Matte Lights. Now, my friend Amanda recommended this to me. And it, she uses it like under the eyes. It's like a kind of brightening powder. So I have set my under eyes, but I'm just going to put a bit of this over the top. First thing I want to say is the powder is so pretty. It's got like this pink marbling through it and it's like pressed really pretty but the packaging is so bulky considering this is all just lid and the actual products only this so it kind of annoys me because like you know just storage in my collection but for an average person that would be perfectly fine so i'm taking this on a real technique setting brush picking some of it up and just sweeping it under the eyes I don't know if it does much. One thing I just thought after putting that on, um, I wonder if this has flashback. Because it's like reflective. I think it's so cool because like you rub it and it looks like nothing. But then you rub it into the skin and it just has like these tiny little silver shimmers. Like so, so fine. Yeah, I think it's a really cool concept. Next I have three bronzers. So I have two of these Summer of Love baked bronzers and then I have this ultra bronze big matte bronzer. I might use a mixture so I'm going to take, I'm not going to use this one, this is Love Hot Summer. This is really warm and it's got gold through it so I'm not going to use that one today. But I'll start out with this. It's the Revolution Ultra Bronze, um, one shade. Looks like this. It's really pretty. So I just take that on my standard bronzer brush. Um, I did chuck a bit of this one on this morning. So I have kind of tried it. I think it's just a nice, soft, everyday bronzer. Which is what I was looking for. Like, it's like a nice, soft definition. I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to take it down the neck a little. I think this could be a really pretty contour for like pale skin. I might actually try that in a moment. But I'm going to take this one. So this is the Summer of Love, Summer of Love bronzer. Um, I picked these up to compare them to the Too Faced one. But like straight off the bat I know they're different. But this is what this one looks like. It's really pretty. It's like a soft shimmery colour. These are so silky, like, so silky smooth to the touch. That's what it looks like. It's like really, kind of see a glow. So I'm kind of just going to dust this over my face. Because this is like such a nice light shade also. Um, I feel like I can't really go wrong with it. That's giving like the gorgeous soft glow to the skin. I think that's so pretty. It actually kind of reminds me of like one of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. Maybe like Dim Light or something. But it's more soft, like pillowy. Whereas they're kind of like dry. And I'll take my contour brush and we'll see how this goes as a contour. I don't want to go too heavy though. That works. It's pretty. It's warm. So if you're into a warm contour and you're pale, this would work. And then of course we'll just buff everything together. So I'm thinking about ordering some BH Cosmetics brushes. So let me know down below which ones are good. Um, I'm looking at getting the uh, Rose Quartz. I think it's an 11 piece set. And then also two of the vegan brushes. I'm going to get the blending brush. And there's like a tapered blending base brush. I think it's so pretty. 
That one's a yes from me. And the packaging's really pretty. It's got like bronzy rose gold writing. So I don't have any blush, so I'm going to take this Tarte Thrilled blush, which I got recently. You may have seen in my haul. Um, it's like an everyday nude shade. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques Dual Fibre Face Brush. This is from the NYX Pix collection. And I like this one. It's softer than the regular Dual Fibre Face Brush. And I think this is like the perfect blush brush. Because it just gives like a really soft airbrushed look. Great for if it's a super pigmented blush. Like this one's pretty pigmented. Next product I'm taking is this Makeup Revolution's Ultra Pro Glow Highlighting Palette. So I was playing around with this. I wore one of these today and swatched it yesterday. I like the packaging. It's like, you know, it's not amazing, but this is what it looks like. There's the colours. That's the reflection. I'm not sure which one to go with. I think I wore this one today. I want to play with this pink, but not today. I might go for this shade here because it's just kind of like a simple kind of colour. I don't want to go too crazy at first. Um, so yeah, just this second one on a tapered highlighting brush. One thing I wish this palette had was a mirror because... So pretty. I'll put the prices on the screen because I can't remember how much everything was. And I'm just going to illuminate my face a little bit. I was watching, um, oh, I don't know her name. I just subscribed to her. But she did like a glowy skin look and oh my god, she is so gorgeous. These are the same as the... Uh, Forever Love Makeup. Oh, I Heart Makeup. Where it's like this super creamy, almost like a colour pop kind of consistency. Um, but still powder. Like, I don't know. It gives like a wet look. Look at that. How amazing is that? And I'll show you this pink. This pink is like so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. It's like an iridescent pink. I think it's bloody gorgeous. And I can't wait to play with it. So I have two eyeshadow palettes to play with. Both I'm so excited for. The first one is the Makeup Revolution Flawless 3 Resurrection Ultra Eyeshadow Palette. So it has 33 colours. This packaging is everything. It's like this silver pink metallic which I love because it's gorgeous, but fingerprints, like, I can't get an angle to show you, but you can kind of see, it's so fingerprinty. It has a big mirror on the inside, and you open up to these shades, it has the sleeve of names, and these are your colours. They're smaller than I thought, I thought these were going to be like a Colourpop pan size. But they're pretty little, like, compared to my thumbnail, my finger. They're pretty little. I think they're about a $2 coin size, if that's any help. But yeah, so I have them ones to play with. And then I got this I Love Makeup London Unicorn Love Palette. This is the box. This palette is freaking fuzzy. I died. Like... So this big plastic heart, it looks cheap like kitty makeup, but it's so fuzzy. Again, you open it up, you have a mirror, and then the names. So I like to keep the name sheet, it helps me kind of point to which ones I want. And then these are the shades. Again, so pretty. So you have like a glittery purple, and then like these metallics look amazing. I love the names, but I don't like the name placement. We're going to play with these two today. If you'd like to see an independent video for one of them, or both of them, comment below because I'm definitely thinking about doing that. 
I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush into this shade here, which is like third from the end on the top row. Okay, so these have kick up. Okay, I just zoomed in so you can see better. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take that third colour. That's alright. I only dip that in once. It's got some pigmentation. One thing though, because the pans are so small, you will use through the product quickly. Now I guess we'll switch into this. And I'm going to take... this shade here. I'm going to use this palette as my mirror because it's a bit lighter. I was going for warm tones because these are both got pretty warm toned eyeshadows. Again just using that on the same brush and again it's pretty pigmented. I, when swatching I found the mattes in these palettes are really nice. The shimmers were where they lacked a little. I'm taking my vegan angled shadow brush into Unicorn, which is the white shade, and I'm just going to pack that onto my brow bone. I'm then taking this one here, so I use this one, and I'm taking this one, which is kind of more yellow based. Again, just on the same brush. These powders also have um, kick up. I'm going to take this shade here from the um, Resurrection palette, which is like a dark purpley brown on a synthetic number six, and just put this on the outer corner. not as pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna start with this gold. I think it looks so pretty. It's real dark though. Feels really creamy. Oh, promising. Oh, it's so foiled. Oh, that's so pretty. I feel like this shadow may flake and like have fallout throughout the day or night. Just the texture of it, like it's got a little bit of fallout now. Just like little tiny speckles. But because it's like this foily, creamy kind of texture, I feel like it might have just a smidge fallout. Back in with this shade we used on the outer corner, and I'm just going to kind of pack that back on. Because it kind of got... Oh. These blend up beautifully together. Like, because it kind of goes over the top of that shimmer. But the sparkle still shines through. That sounded really poetic, but... I'm take a little bit of this on the angled brush. Kind of that looks harsh, but this will blend away quite easily. So then straight away I'm taking my brush and it's blending. So starting out with this transition shade. Then I'm going to take this warm shade on a ruby pencil brush. Then taking a flat definer brush into this shade here. Like this. 
And that just goes under the lashes and into the lower lash line. Just for this out of maybe out of half. And so this looks like a pretty brebo in colour. I'm going to take that one first. On a uh, vegan eyeshadow brush. a bit of shimmer to it it's pretty and we're gonna take one of these shimmers um i might go for this one yeah on a accent brush and this will go on the inner corner no it's not shimmery enough Just for reference, I'm going to swatch these orangey colours. That's one swipe into the pan. They're pigmented. I'm going to take that same shade on the inner corner. That's what it should look like. So I found that these shadows had awesome mattes. But the shimmers are just really not there. The kind of like bottom two rows of this were amazing. The morphe colours at the end of this row were amazing. But the shimmers and the lighter mattes didn't have a lot of pigmentation to them. So I think it's, it's still a really nice palette. But if you're looking for something for metallics and shimmers, this wouldn't be the one for you. Then we have this one, which again, I love the mattes in this. They're super pigmented and blendable and I created a really pretty look. The metallics in this are so intense and buttery, but they are a little almost flaky and I don't think they'd apply well with the... I don't think they would apply well with a brush, which is why I used my finger and kind of just like rubbed it in. Like you really want to massage this into the lid. Then we have lip products, and again, I bought two. Um, the first one I'm not going to use. This is the Hashtag Pro Artist Professional London Pro Lipstick Palette in Naked. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? So this palette isn't quite what I was expecting formula-wise. It looks like this. So you have a row of mattes across the top, and then two rows of sheer finished lipsticks. Now I'm just going to say these are not sheer. The mattes are sheer. The matte lipsticks are like they're pretty but they're just... The pigmentation isn't there. I... And then you go for one of these sheers. I'll go for like the similar colour. Like this. They're so creamy. And look at that. So much more pigmented. So yes, I'm happy I picked this up because I was worried that I would only use the mattes and never the shears, but I'm actually going to use the shears and probably not so much the mattes. Um, I think this would be great for makeup artists because it is like a bunch of nude colours. They also had like a pinky red palette and a dark palette. And I think it was 17 US dollars or something. Really nice price. And like it's nice sturdy packaging. The Pro Artist palettes what I have here with my Colourpops in them. I also have another three that I just purchased and I really, really like them. They're nice quality. So the lip product I got that I will be using today is the Cup Revolution Retro Luxe Matte Lip Kit. So these are like a dupe for the Kylie Lip Kits. So it's got a lip contour, pencil and a liquid lipstick. I got the shade, I think it's called Echian or Echian. I don't know, but it's like a nudie colour. I think the packaging's so pretty. It's like black and white with like the bronzy rose gold that they have on most of their packaging. And you pull it out and it kind of looks like a lip kit. You have a pencil, which is actually long. Um, again, it's got Makeup Revolution written on it. The actual colour name is only a sticker, which annoys me. And then it has the swatch on the end. And then the lipstick is clear tube. It's got like this bronzy rose gold plasticky lid. The lid feels nice and cheap. But the colour looks really pretty. So we're going to try that out. Um, 
I might just even zoom in a little. I just swatched these and they look really nice. So, so that went on super smooth. Um, just rub my lips together and I can blend that in really nicely. So it's super creamy and smooth and pigmented. And the swatch, it's a little more pink than the swatch colour. Now for the lipstick. Oh, I'm so excited. The formula seems kind of thick. Um, so yeah. Okay, I really like this colour. The actual lipstick's a little more mauve than the lip pencil. The pencil's more got this ready orange undertone. But it's really pretty. So it sits really smoothly on the lips. Um, it's gone matte straight away, pretty much. But it's tacky, so I'm just going to let that sit for a moment. And then we'll finish up the video.